Hello everyone, Ippy here, and um, today we are playing some Black Ops Zombies on Kinoto Toten. Basically, uh, I'm making these videos to um, show you guys my typical tactic on how to play or how to survive for a very long time on Kinoto Toten. Um, so yeah, let's do it. 500 points, first thing you want to do, go ahead and grab the Quick Revive, or in this case I guess it's just called a Revive when it's solo. So go ahead and grab that right away. You want to let the zombies in, um, don't kill them when they're outside. Uh, so, this is going to be more of like a, um, a live commentary than it will be a... Because I'm doing this like a live commentary, this is, so this is going to be more like a live commentary than it will be a tactic video. But, um, I'll just tell you a little bit about my zombie history. Um, farthest I've ever made it to on Kinder de Toten was level 59. Um, I'll try to post a link to that picture in the video description if I can. Basically, I didn't have my PVR at the time. Uh, so basically, I, when I was playing and I got to level 59, I just kind of took a picture of it with my phone. Um, uploaded it to Facebook. You know, did all that kind of good stuff you would do if you were, um... If you got to level 59 in zombies. So, uh, level 59, so obviously my tactic does work. Um, works the best for me. I like it. Um, if you don't like it, then um, that's too bad. Anyways, so you have, well, I have 820 points now. I don't know if you get more or less zombies, but you want to go ahead and grab the shotgun as quick as you can. And it's still early, still level 2. So you still want to go ahead and just knife your zombies. Two knives, level two, will kill them. Uh, that's the first window you want to repair. You want to repair that as, as often as possible just because the zombies spawn the quickest from that window. Um, what I mean by that, I will show you in a second because I'm getting smacked by zombies. And I do apologize if I start to get monotone after a long period of time. Because doing a, let's, sorry, doing a live commentary on zombies wouldn't necessarily get boring, but when you get too into the actual game, then you don't really focus on the talking part as much. So, um, everything I do kind of has a reason to it, uh, whether it be subtle or obvious, but sometimes I might forget to mention why I do it. So apologies on that part of not telling you all my little secrets and zombies. But earlier, I repaired this window only four times because in level one, you can only repair up to, you can only get up to 40 points for repairing. Um, so you only want to repair four boards at a time. Level two, I think, is around. There you go. So it reached the cap. I don't get any more points for repairing. Level two is about uh, 11 boards, so 100, 110 points, I think, something like that. But whatever. I don't keep track really. I don't really know. I just keep track of the first couple levels because usually when you get to the farther levels, you can pretty much just keep repairing and just not even worry about the uh, repair point cap. What I meant by you always want to repair this one first is because you see zombies spawn almost instantly there. Whereas windows like this, you would have the zombies spawn really, really far away, and they would come closer slowly, which would give you some time to, um, you know, kill the zombies. Um, now, because it is level 3, see, that's what I mean by the, uh, oh, that's why you let the zombies in. Did I mention that? I don't even know. I forget what I talk about now. But that's why you let the zombies in, because you want to get items like the max ammo, double points, insta-kill, uh, nuke, anything like that. You can only grab if the zombies are inside. Obviously, you can't grab... An item that's all the way out there um, but yeah uh, okay so usually you want to knife them a couple times before they come in um, that way like so for example level 3 you want to knife them three times before they come in which would then uh, weaken them to the point that you could uh, knife them once when they're inside this room and you could kill them um, although being preoccupied with talking I didn't get the opportunity to do that so I will tell you what to do in a situation like this, is survive, that's about it. No, 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 you want to run around with your shotgun, um, you really don't need it at this point, but just in case you get trapped, you want to run around, run around with it, cannot speak, it is getting late. So when you get to this point, when you have these kind of really slow retarded zombies, then you want to go and knife them as many times as you can. When you have fast zombies that can like smack you like 5 meters away, like that, then you want to knife them once, back off, wait until you heal, and then knife them again. You don't want to risk dying or anything. 
Um, I'll probably have to die a couple times early on in this game to show you some stuff. But other than that, I'll try my best not to die as often as I can. Um, so yeah. Oh, yes. Zombie attack. So, um, yeah. Shotgun, pistol. This combo of weapons will last you up to a really long time. Well, at least I can last in them a really long time. Usually when you get really good at zombies, you'll get to the point where you can ninja your way through zombies and not even get hit. Um, which is always good. But, um, I don't know. When you play enough, you'll be able to do that. I almost went for that knife there. So there you go. Zombies are dead. Round three's over. Now for round four. I'm repairing. Yeah. Round four is pretty much the same as round three. The zombies don't get any stronger. They still take three knives to kill. And they have pretty much the same health as they would in round three. So really this round makes no difference. Just maybe a couple more zombies. So just repair what you can. Stuff like that. So there's the two knives. And then third knife should kill. Oh god, I did not even see that guy. That guy was a little ninja. So like I said, if you're worried, pull up the shotgun and kill your zombies with that. Shotgun, always aim down the sights when you shoot. Unless you're in some manic, like, some massive panic situation. Um, other than that, you want to go for the um, aim down the sights and not the hip fire because when you aim down the sights, what that allows you to do is, um, that allows you to oh god, oh god, ninja. Okay. Um, what that allows you to do is that allows you to extend the range of the shotgun, thus also extending the... Oh, yes, commando ties. Well, anyways, that was... I don't even know what happened there, but I'm not going to kill any of the zombies. I'm going to leave leave it for me to revive and then go for the insta-kills. I don't know what I just got. Anyways, um, this will be a good time to talk about getting downed. Every time you get down, you want to go ahead and grab the quick revive right away. As quick as you can. So, like I did, I went and grabbed it. I have double points, so I'm going to repair the windows as often as I can. Um, but yeah, using the shotgun, if you aim down the sights with it, it does extend the range and the damage. So that's why you always want to aim down the sights. Um, again, another reason I bought the shotgun is because, typically, unlike that one, it should be a one-hit kill for the dogs, um, so that's always a good thing. Oh god, that is not cool. So I'm just gonna keep running, running, running. Oh, okay, thanks. Collateral, but yeah, the uh, typically the um, the shotgun would be a one-hit kill for the dogs if you aim down your sights and land a well-placed shot. Doesn't even have to be a headshot; just a well, just a nice shot would kill in one hit. But um, yeah, aim down the sights for extended range and damage. So always a good thing, unless you're in a panic situation where you're getting like overtaken by a bunch of zombies. Then you would obviously hip fire like that. But as you can see, it. There's a lot less damage and it's a little bit more inaccurate. Um, I like to sometimes spend some time in this room. Um, just before, um, well, I, it takes two hits now actually, so, yeah. Or maybe, uh, yeah, maybe like two knives and, a, oh, did not mean to get that. Yeah, about nukes, you want to get those last because they give you an instant 400 points regardless of how many zombies you kill. So the best thing to do is to um, kill all your zombies first. Then go and grab your new and get the 400 points. Anyways, um, I'm not worried about dying. Um, I know. Sorry, I am worried about dying, but I'm not worried about getting taken over. Like I know it's not gonna be too much, so it's fine. But um, oh yeah, watch out! They spawn through that hole in the the roof. But um, I don't want to risk dying again. So, even though it's not a super sticky situation, um, I want to spend my time to uh, go ahead and open these doors and get through here and not worry about dying. 
guys know where it's dying. So make your way over to the power. And then... Well, I guess they're slow, so might as well. Turn on the power, head over to these machines over here. And I'm going to grab the Bowie Knife first, because I don't have enough. If you have enough, buy both Juggernaut and the Bowie Knife. But if you don't, just go strictly for the Bowie Knife first, because... Um, basically, the Bowie Knife is like a one-hit kill. Uh, for the Walkers, at least. It's a one-hit kill up to, like, level 10. At level 10, the Walkers become two-hit kills. And it's a one-hit kill for the Crawlers up to level 13. In which, at level 14, I think, they become two-hit kills. So that's just a little, um... The investment of your 3,000 points will do well. It'll give you a good return not for not having to waste ammo or buy weapons and just being able to knife zombies. Um, yeah. But the second you get enough for Juggernaut, you want to go and buy that because that's really important. I don't, want to, I don't want to treat you guys like noobs, but um, I'll just explain what it does. Juggernaut basically just enhances your health by threefold, so allowing you to have three times as more health, meaning you'll actually be able to take like six sets from zombies where you would normally be only able to take... Ah, uh, nuke again. Okay, the thing about nukes is you don't want to get nukes that often. Just because, okay, I have max ammo, so I'm going to I'm gonna utilize that by shooting my pistol. Whenever, you, whenever you, okay, these are the things about items, I guess. I just talk about items now. Whenever you have max ammo, always go ahead and waste your bullets. Because you're going to get th those bullets back anyways. So waste them to get points. Um, then I'll go ahead and grab them. I don't need the instant kill actually because I have a bowie knife. So pretty much you can just knife them and they'll still die. Um, so yeah, walkers stay two, uh, will stay one hit kill up to level 9. Crawlers are one hit kill up to level 13. Then they become two hit, then you can combine it with you know just two knives or a shotgun shell and a knife. Just whatever combination you want. But um, yeah, so I have enough. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Juggernaut right now so I can take like six hits from zombies. Doesn't make you invincible, but it does help. So for the next couple rounds, you want to use your uh, knife as much as you can, just because it'll save you all your bullets and grant it'll get you a lot of points actually. So that's good. When you repair, always watch your back. Never get flanked because that's not cool. Okay, double points. Oh, I didn't even talk about the nuke. Um, double points. What you want to do when you have double points is you want to round up as many zombies as you can. And then shoot through all of them. If you look at my point counter, it kind of goes up like crazy. Um, because, like, basically one bullet goes through, like, ten zombies. And you double that, and you just get a lot of points. So whenever you get double points, you want to use your weaker weapon. Which in this case for me is my pistol. And just use that to rack up points. And then it's gone. Um, so double points, uh, you want to, you know, do what I said, line them up like that, get them in a group, shoot bullets through them so that every bullet you get a lot more points. Um, and uh, yeah, if you have a, a single walker and you have double points, what you want to do is you want to shoot him in the knees. Um, okay, that was what the hell. What that does is um, because the, the knees, uh, he'll take less damage. So basically he'll survive longer with every bullet you put in him. Allowing you to put more bullets, allowing you to get more points with the double points. So always use the weaker weapon when double points is out. Um, yeah. As for nuke, um, oh, well, I'm getting dogs now, so that's... Uh, it's going to be a one-hit kill with the bowie knife as well. So I can pretty much just, you, if you really want to, there's a little area here. Usually you would tell noobs to go here, and then you would stand in front of them and defend them. But, um... Because I have Juggernaut and a Boy Knife, I can pretty much just run after the dog and attack them. Wow, that dog just like did like a backflip. But um, yeah. Okay, so nukes. Um, you always want to get the nukes uh, last because they grant you an instant. Did I even talk about? This?